Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this simple screencast I will show you how you can create a user control and in WPF and use it in your window. So I already have a window over here and uh, it really doesn't have anything. This is the, just the default. I'm going to go to the app.xaml file and set up that particular window which is my window 1 as the startup window. Okay, uh, not not window one, but my window as a startup window. Okay, uh, let's close that. Save and close. Okay, so now when I start the application, this particular window will be executed. Now what I need to do is to add a user control to it. So I have a folder that I created. It's called user controls. It doesn't really have anything. So let's go ahead and add a new item. Now there's a custom control, but we're going to use a user control. So user control will also give you the ability to draw the whole thing, the whole setup using the designer view. Okay, and user control can be a kind of a mixed controls, uh, composite controls basically. So you can have a text box grid and multiple controls acting as a single user control. I'm just going to say this is a green text box, and this is a very very simple screencast. It will only show you to create to like get started with the user controls. The good thing about another good thing is of course it has a design view, so you can just drag and drop the stuff, and it will create a user control for you. But I like to type, so I'm just going to say text box, and the only thing that is different from this text box is that the color is actually green. I can also say height, maybe like 20 width is 100 and when I close it you're going to see that there is a user control which looks like this which is a uh, text box okay now you can remove the grid if you want and only have the text box itself you can also set the height of the user control to auto that means the user control will only occupy the space which is required and most probably you will only require the space if you're using a text box as a user control you will only require the space of a text box and not of the whole user control window which is 300 by 300 pixel by default so we have this user control created I'm just going to build this okay and let's go over here now into my window now I need to use the user control in my window let's go ahead and update that Okay, so I need to say over here, I need to add the particular namespace that I will be using. So I'm going to say something like that namespace that I will be using will be user controls. And I will say over here, oops, the CLR namespace and the, the namespace, uh, the, the complete name is WPF dot user controls which of course targets to the folder of the user controls now I can put many controls inside the user control and actually use the prefix or the alias user control so I can type any alias that I want let's go ahead and use that so I'm going to say user controls oops let's actually build that first okay and the build is completed let's go ahead and say user controls you'll see that it all pops up the IntelliSense saying that there's a user control inside that which is known as green text box I'm just going to use that and as soon as I use that you will see that the designer view is actually updated showing the user control designer side or the designer view and when I of course run this application it's going to behave just a normal window which has a user control in it which is a text box of green color and I can actually type so it's pretty much the same text box as the default the only difference is that the the color the background color is actually green and that's pretty much it in the later tutorials I will show you how to create a little bit complicated user controls like validation text box uh, regular expression text box controls and things like that I hope you like this screencast thank you very much if you do have any questions please email me at Azam Sharp let me actually type it over here so that you remember Azam Sharp at gmail.com also if you want to do advertising if you want to sponsor a screencast this is the email to contact me you can also follow me on Twitter at at Azam Sharp okay thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it